make it my little slot. Possibly. Very likely. <laughs> Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shalia if you're new here and welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. Yes, it's Day 11. I kept seeing the wrong Vlogmas days for literally, I think, two or three days. It was like, it was getting out of control. It's like, girl, it's your content. I don't know what day it is. Come on. Anyway, um, I was absent for days, well, what would have been days 11 and 12, so I have a new set of days 11 and 12, <laughs> and that is because, guys, remember in last week's vlog, I was like, I mean, last week's vlog, um, yesterday's vlog, I had said that I was sick, like I thought I was getting sick. Yeah, I had COVID. Um, I have COVID, I guess, technically speaking, so I'm on quarantine. I don't, I shouldn't do quarantine in air quotes, obviously, but, like, I'm just so over it. I basically was essentially asymptomatic with the exception of extreme fatigue, and I said on Sunday, the night of the movie night, like, dinner, like, the movie night party, that I thought I had a scratchy throat. Literally, by Monday, that was gone, and it never even hurt. It was just, like... You know? And then literally I just had fatigue. No runny nose, no coughing, no sneezing, no nut like literally. Literally nothing. So I never in a million years thought it was COVID. Basically what happened was I went to go see my mom and I have to take a COVID test every time I go in to see her and my COVID test came back positive and I was like, give me another one. Because I was like, I've not known anyone that I've been around that has COVID unless the people that I got it from were asymptomatic. But I also work at a restaurant. It's really high volume. It's very busy. So I, realistically speaking, I could have gotten it from anyone. But in my mind, I was like, it's so crazy that everyone, no one in my immediate circle has COVID. Except for me. Um, and that's never happened before. Like last year, when I had COVID, literally all of us had COVID at the same time. Like we were like one by one by one. Like one person had it one day, the next day, the next day, the next day. Like literally like 21 of us ended up with COVID at my job. Like literally in the span of a week it was like so crazy so i didn't go to work yesterday um and i didn't go to work today obviously i didn't vlog yesterday because i was really like sad i'm not even gonna say i was sad i think i was more mad <laughs> yesterday that i got covid because a it means that i can't work and you guys know like i'm trying to go away for my birthday in two months and B it's Christmas like I just was like what are the odds that I'm still gonna be testing positive on Christmas Day like I won't get to see my mom like my mom is gonna spend Christmas alone because none of my family is gonna go like I already know that shit so I'm just like I didn't like that feeling and so it was it was all over the place like I was just frustrated for a lot of different reasons and so I literally stayed in bed all day yesterday and I ate junk food. Like, I'm not even kidding. Straight junk food. I can't even tell you the healthiest thing I had yesterday besides water. I was like, girl, this, like, not okay. I see y'all. I had McDonald's. I had Rice Krispies treats, hot cocoa, coffee, water popcorn i've literally like made a huge dent in this thing of popcorn um here which is embarrassing um like look and i didn't eat the caramel because the caramel is my mom's favorite look at this y'all like you can't even see like <laughs> i was just in bed like <laughs> uh, like so depressed anyway so Today, I figured, even though I'm not really doing much, 
quarantines, you guys. Um, okay, so updates, right? Since I haven't been on in a couple of days, two days to be exact. I heard back from PLT. It was almost like I complained that like, oh my God, I haven't heard back from them and blah, 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 blah. And then literally the next morning I got an email. The girl's so nice. She's been very helpful. She already told me to send back the vest that had like the little bugs in it. She said they launched an investigation in their warehouse that it came from and they didn't find anything, which leads me to believe that it's very possible that it all, they, they ended up in there somewhere in the midst of delivery. But it's also a nightmare to set up a claim with whoever delivered it to me because it went through two different what are they called? Couriers. <laughs> I was like, what are they called? Yeah, they went through two different ones. And so, like, you, I, they're never going to know where or how or what. Like, you know what I mean? So I just figured it's easier for me to get in touch with them in th for this. And then if they want to launch an investigation with them, they can do that. But me as an individual, it's just like a nightmare. Plus, I placed the order with them not with Royal Mail or with the United States Postal Service. Like, you know what I mean? So she said that I can damage it out and send back the vest for a refund, which really sucks because I do want it. I want that vest. But I now need to still just send this one back, see if they um, have it still in my size and repurchase it and hope that what happened the first time doesn't happen again. Um, and then secondly... Um, send back the blue feathered thing and get a refund for the slinky like khaki jumpsuit that I didn't get so we're gonna do that plus I actually don't even want that jumpsuit because the one in black I don't like so it just works it worked out anyway like I'm like I just told them like you don't even have to send it to me now the issue is this last bag which is all the stuff that was wet she told me to take photos to see if they were damaged, but I'm going to do that. But I'm also going to ask her, like, OK, if they're not what you guys would consider damaged and they're now soaking wet and they don't fit me. Like, I don't mind, like, washing these. I would wash them anyway and put them in the dryer so they come out fine. But at the same time, it's like. What if I now don't like them? The tags have now been soggy and God only knows what else. You know what I mean? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to include all of that in the email and see what she says. Um, and I'm going to just do my best to like put these back in the package and hope that there are no issues. I'm scared these like smell. Oh, they don't. I'm shocked. They've been in here for well over a week. Oh shit. Um. Wow. Like, look, guys, can you see this? Like, it looks like a wetsuit. Like, it looks like a wet ski suit. Uh, okay. So, let me. Ugh dry my hands everything on my counter is closed yeah because I'm like ugh, I don't want like all this wet plastic like all over my kitchen stuff but I also like didn't want to open it in my room because <clears throat> the rug is on my floor and stuff and I was like I don't want to run the risk of that getting wet so let me take these photos and email her and see what she says and I'll get back with you guys in a bit I need to like I think what I'm gonna do is like clean my apartment today there's so much trash in my house, you guys. There's so much trash in my house from Sunday. And Sunday was garbage day. But because I fell asleep, my friends didn't know that. And I obviously didn't wake up in time to take the trash out. And then it hit me that Sunday is Christmas. So I don't even know if I'm able to put it out. So I've just got, like, bags of recycling. It's all recycling. It's not, like, actual trash. But it's driving me freaking insane, so I'm probably going to do all of that, and then I'm going to get a vlog uploaded today, so I need to work on the thumbnail, and that's pretty much it. So, or at least, like, off the top of my head right now, that's pretty much it. So, I'm going to check back in with you guys in a little bit. Let me just focus on this. I want to make sure these all, like, look right, so don't run into any issues there. And 
yeah that's it <laughs> all right guys my takeout just got here i ordered so much food that i don't need <laughs> seriously y'all like there's no way i'm gonna finish this but you know when you are ordering takeout and you just have my chair is so high hold on guys Woo, buddy there we go um now i'm too low hold on <laughs> There we go, I think that's better. Um, you know, like, when you just order, like, way too much because you just have a taste for a few different things? It's kind of what I did, <laughs> as usual. Oh, my God, but it smells so good. It smells so good. It smells so good. Oh, my God. So, I got Vietnamese, um, and I got pho and crispy spring rolls. I always forget what they're called. But they're the... Yeah, sorry guys, I'm so overwhelmed because it just smells so good and I'm also so hungry. So, the crispy spring rolls are like this. And you eat them with the lettuce and the dipping sauce that is crack. And then I got, like I said, I got beef pho. If I can open it. Come on! There we go. See? with the beef meatballs as well which I normally don't put in but today I was like oh I want them and then Riley sit down he's like jumping like so excited and then I got the froth right there and so excited so give me a minute I'm gonna go ahead and eat this I'm so hungry guys well first I'm gonna wash my hands you like that happy place um also I have way too much stuff up here right now I always like to dig into the spring rolls first while the pho is like marinating so I'm just gonna add whoa some broth to that don't splash everywhere I don't want you to get wasted Okay. I'll just put the top back on there for now. I'll let that marinate. I'm going to wash my hands and then dig into these spring rolls. Give me a sec. So good. So excited to eat right now. Like, I'm literally so hungry. And, like, food right now is all I can think about. Okay. So, got our sauce here. And I'm weird, so I always like to eat one first <laughs> without the lettuce. Oh my god. So good. So freaking good. You know when you're like starving? You're, like low key turn into a savage? That's me right now. Like, I just want to shove food in my mouth. I'm so hungry. Like, like just soak it up in there how did this suddenly turn into a mukbang <laughs> mm. and guys so the PLC stuff I think I'm gonna end up keeping the pajamas and returning the leather just cause that one is like I don't want to run the risk of like damaging it anymore but the PJs were, like, not bad. I think um, I'm going to just wash them and dry them, and they should be fine. After all that. Mm. Guys, let me tell you something about me, okay? I love Asian food. Like, sometimes I think in another life. I have a Southeast Asian. Because. It's too good. It's too good. Like. Out of. I've not been to too many Asian countries yet. But like out of the ones I've been to so far. Like all I did was eat. Actually no. In Singapore. I didn't really eat that much. I think we only had snack. No I did eat. I did eat. Nope. Nope, nope, it was good too. 
because I was only in Singapore for a day. So I can remember if I ate or not, but I did. And it was good. And I ate myself into a dumpling coma when I was in China. And I also love Bolognese food. So I'm excited this year, or next year technically, to try authentic Thai. I just know, you know, like I know I'm going to enjoy it. And like I feel like whenever I eat Asian food, I highly doubt, I doubt that I'm not going to enjoy my meal. Like, you know what I mean? Like I just know, damn I'm about to eat good. You know what I mean? Alright guys, I'm going to eat as much as I can without feeling like, you know, too stuffed, which if I'm being honest, won't be much more. And I'll see you guys in bed. Alright, I'm back from eating. I definitely look like I can use like a face mask or like some sleep. <laughs> I just kind of glimpsed myself in the mirror and was like, girl, you looking a little rough. Anyway, so yesterday you guys know my baubles were supposed to come. Did I tell you guys this already? No, definitely not. It was on the phone. Okay, so the rest of my baubles were supposed to come yesterday from Amazon, and it was like, oh, guaranteed delivery by 10. You know on Amazon, like, you can see, like, where the truck is when they're nearby and, like, tells you how many stops away they are. So, last night, he was, like, five stops away from me, and it was, like, 9.30. So, he was on my street. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Now, obviously, I don't know how many packages, like, you know what I mean? But to me, five stops is five addresses. Like, that's what, and if anybody here works at Amazon and I'm wrong, please let me know. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. He's five houses before mine. And I'm like, all right, so give it like 30 minutes. That'll be like right at 10 o'clock. You know, whatever, just in case people answer the door, scanning, whatever, whatever. Y'all, at 9.53, this man was right in front of my house for minutes, minutes. And never dropped off the package. <laughs> and obviously, like, the app is telling me he's, like, directly in front of my house. But he could have been, like, a few, like, houses down. And from outside the window, I couldn't really, like, like tell, tell. Um, like, I couldn't see him outside the window. But, like, to me, he was, like, according to the app, he was literally, like, in the vicinity of my house. So I was like, okay, cool. All of a sudden, I look up. He's, like, a block and a half up. And I'm like... So did he deliver my package and like it didn't scan yet? Like I'm like, okay, let me go downstairs. Look again. I go downstairs, no package. I look again. He's like 10 blocks. And I'm like, oh, he's he's done for the day. He's like, oh, I'm done delivering at 10. But I was like, bro, you didn't even give it until 10. Like you didn't even give it until 10. Like he was like clocking out, 953, swipe punch card, got to go. I literally was like, Oh, so fuck me, right? Y'all, I cannot, like, I'm having, like, the weirdest, like, luck with my packages. So I'm like, I need to, like, not be ordering nothing for a little while. Why does it look like somebody already tried to open this? Guys, they're Christmas ornaments. Relax. It's not that deep. Anyway, so this guy just dropped it off, thankfully, because I was like, if I don't get this today... I don't even want it because tomorrow's Christmas Eve and I go back to work. Like, what I look like, like, putting up my last ornaments on Christmas Eve at, like, you know, 1 a.m. when I get home from work. Like, you know what I mean? Because it definitely, it definitely wasn't going to get delivered before I left. So, let's open them up and let's see what we got. Oh, they're already so cute! Oh, my God! Guys, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Although, oh no, they are big. There's glitter everywhere. Oh my God. They're so cute. Like this, this is what I wanted on my tree all along. Like, do you see this? How freaking cute. Oh, I'm obsessed. I'm putting these on like right now. And I love that they already came with the strings. But I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, y'all. If I would have paid $70 for this, I'd have been big mad. 
But, like, maybe that's also just me. Like, I don't know. They're so cute! Okay, hold on. How do I open this up? There we go. Am I, like, am I a little slow? Possibly. Very likely. <laughs> Highly likely. There we go, okay. Oh my god, these are so cute. I think my favorite ones were gonna, I thought my favorite ones were gonna be like the big jumbo like stripe ones, but I think I really like the candies. Now the question is, after Christmas, where the fuck am I putting all this stuff? Because, well no, I got rid of some stuff, so I guess I have some space in the top of my closet. There we go. OMG. These are so freaking cute. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Okay. You guys want to put these on the tray with me? Let's do it. freaking happy with it it's crazy like the stripes is really everything it needed like so wild and I'm like obsessed with these like I told you guys and also these like oh I'm so happy <laughs> so freaking happy with this oh and my little candy cane sticking out vibes vibes I was gonna put it on the door and then I was like oh, no keep me in the tray oh guys he's Christmas Okay guys, so now that my tree's all done, I hope you guys are not bored with me, honestly, but what else y'all want me to do with my house? Anyway, um, now that my tree's done, I decided that I'm gonna watch the Dr. Seuss, like, original, I think, version of the Cat in the Hat. Not, oh my god, not the Cat in the Hat, the Grinch. And I'm gonna make an espresso martini. So, in case nobody told y'all, I make very, very good top of the notch espresso martinis. So I'm going to make one here with you guys. I'm going to show you what I put in it. And don't be sharing my recipe and claiming it as your own. Even though it's not really my recipe. Whatever. Anyway, y'all get the point. All right, y'all. So to go ahead and get started, I already pulled out some of my ingredients. Um, the first thing you're going to need is obviously some espresso. Guys, please, please, for the love of God, I told you guys, there's so much recycling from Sunday. Let's not talk about it. So the first thing you're going to need is some espresso. I'm using the uh, Nespresso pods. This is the single shot of espresso, the Diabolito. Um, I already brewed one. Normally, I would use the uh, double espresso Chiaro, but I'm out of that one. So I'm using two of these pods, and you want your espresso to be fresh that is the trick you really like the best tasting ones have fresh espresso fresh espresso so I'm gonna go ahead and do another one of these bad boys drop that in there and then we're gonna let that do its thing the next thing you want to go for is definitely some Kahlua you need this this is rum and coffee liqueur you cannot make a good espresso martini without this and then I'm gonna use some Casamigos um Reposado um this one like this or the Añejo or like you don't necessarily need to use Casamigos but like the Repos and the Añejos are probably the best ones to use for espresso martinis in my personal opinion because I don't like vodka no. Alright guys, so now I have my shaker here. And my um my shaker comes with a one ounce pour top. So I'm just gonna use this. I forgot an ingredient. <laughs> my simple syrup was in the fridge. So first thing I'm doing, since it's Christmas, since it's Merry Christmas, I'm taking my um crushed peppermint. This is the one that I use, and I just have it like here in this little bowl. Um, like this little like what do you call these hors d'oeuvre little thing whatever and guys I'm literally taking my glass and I'm just dipping it in my simple syrup on one side and then I'm just going to rim my glass with the candy canes It sucks 
so much better on my other glass. Why is this being like this? What I was saying is things always want to be stupid when you're filming. Okay, so you want lots of ice. I'm literally just gonna like fill this half of the ice. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm starting off with two ounces of Casamigos. There we go. Then I'm doing one ounce of Kahlua. Throwing in my fresh espresso here. And then we're taking, depending on how sweet you guys want this, you can go with one full ounce or half an ounce of simple syrup. And then we're gonna just give it a good shake. And the key with these is that you want a really good long shake um, with this. <laughs> Cause it gives the um it gives the espresso like real time to like froth up in there. And we're gonna guys, do you see this? Oh my god. Oh guys, come here, come close. Do you see? That foam, let it focus for a sec. Look at that, baby. And that right there is an espresso martini. Let's give it a taste. Oh my God, so good. Oh, I almost would have like sprinkled peppermints on this. Is that weird? I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> like just a smidge. Like you get super pepperminty. Uh, but it's so cute now. It's got like, well shit. Actually just, I was like trying to lean the drink. Girl, move the camera. Mm -hmm. All right guys, I'm gonna watch my movie. Mm. Damn, that's good. All right, y'all. So I'm most likely going to end the vlog here because I am going to take Riley outside even though it is freezing. Like, not even kidding. Um, <laughs> I just went in my bathroom and looked at the skylight. And I would show you guys, but really it's, like, dark up there. So it's not really going to pick up. But the ice is inside. Like, <laughs> it's literally freezing. But I also know that I, like can't not walk him or else he's literally gonna pee all over my house and don't nobody want or need that so I'm literally gonna layer up like for real I'm like pulling out my earmuffs and everything um thickest socks I have and I'm literally gonna get dressed like as if I was in Iceland because it is literally colder today than it was every single day I was in Iceland y'all like this is crazy it's 10 degrees it's 10 degrees. Y'all, it's Christmas weekend. It's supposed to be like a hint of warmth with like snow. It is not supposed to be freezing. And then, and then, and then, the weather app has the audacity to say breezy. Baby, baby, we're past breezy. Breezy went out the door at 40 degrees. Like, breezy? I don't have the time. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna end this vlog here because I want to edit it when I get back in from walking Riley. Plus, I think I'm going to film some reels for Instagram, even though it's late AF, but I'm wide awake and not doing anything. I don't want to bother wrapping my gifts because I want to do it all in one shot with you guys. So I'm probably going to do it tomorrow night when I come home from work because I have to, I have orders ready for pickup at stores that are ordered online like for in-store pickup but because I'm quarantined I have to stop doing this when I say quarantine because I'm quarantined I couldn't go pick them up so I'm gonna go pick them up in the early in the morning tomorrow and then most likely wrap them tomorrow when I get home so I wanted to just save all of it for tomorrow's vlog I just didn't want you guys to like have me wrapping in two different videos like that's kind of dumb um but yeah all right guys I love you guys so much 
um thank you guys for quarantining with me um i'm sorry if it wasn't like super entertaining but all right guys i'm gonna go uh freeze <laughs> i'm pointing this way like the door's this way and not that way all right i gotta go bye guys love you see you next time <laughs> what what the hell is this oh hell no my baby's in town and we're gonna do some winner things